Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to align vocal tracks in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to align the lead vocal track with the double tracks and the harmonies to make the timing match with the lead vocal. Let's hear what it sounds like now. Come on, let's go! We're not fast, you're just too slow. Let's get this show on the road, let's go! Now it's not bad, but we could tighten it up a bit to make every line match the lead vocal. So let's go through how to do this. The first thing we'll do is we'll select all the double vocals and the harmonies. Just right click drag to select them all. Then we'll hit D to open up dynamic split, which looks like this. We'll turn on transients and when gate closes and go down here and choose set transient sensitivity. And we can adjust the sensitivity and the threshold right here. Let's zoom in a bit and make sure it's going to create splits on all the transients on the audio. Let's make this a bit lower. Right about there looks pretty good. Now it's better to have more than less as we can just delete the splits we don't need. Then we can close this and switch this from splitting selected items to add stretch markers. Then add it from here and it creates stretch markers on all the transients on the audio tracks. Like I said, we could delete the extra ones or add some in as we need them. Let's go to the beginning, right over here, zoom in. Now besides deleting the ones we don't need, I'm gonna also wanna move the stretch markers without affecting their stretching. And we could do that with a mouse modifier. Let's go to options, go to preferences, and scroll down here to mouse modifiers. Now the context, make sure we choose media item stretch marker and left drag. Now by default, none of these behaviors are gonna work. So let's either replace one of these or add a new one down here. I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna use control, but you could also use any of the Windows ones down here. Double click it and go down here to move stretch marker preserving all rates and switch it to ignoring selection and grouping. This part's important because we're going to group them later and we don't want this to affect grouping. So if I hold down that modifier, I can move the stretch marker without it stretching the audio. So I can just put it in a better place. But these are pretty good right here at the end as well. These look good. We could delete this one, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, for this one and this one. Do the same for here, here. These look pretty good. Let's add one right here, Alt Control on the PC, Option Command on the Mac, and just click it, and that adds a stretch marker right there. Let's delete these two. And adjust the length. Let's put a stretch marker right here and right here. Let's delete this one, move this one and this one so they match up. Let's delete these and this one. These look good. So adjust this one. Let's take some time to get it right, but it's kind of worth it in the end. Let's add one here. We adjust this one. These look good. Move this one, delete this one. Move this one to here. These look pretty good. Delete these. Move this one. Just go through it line by line, making sure the stretch markers are in all the right places.
Now it's kind of important when lining things up that we get the S sounds perfect because those will be more obvious if they're off. These are the endings or the length of the sustained notes. Add some right here. And that looks pretty good. And like I said, this is going to take a little time, but making it perfect will give us better results in the end. So now, Let's just zoom in in the beginning. Then we could group these items and move them all together. So let's right click, drag to select them all. Type in G, which is going to group the items. Now watch what happens. If we grab one of the stretch markers and move it past another, they grab each other. So we can move this to line up with the lead vocal, just like this and do the same thing with the ending. Right here, line it up with the ending of this note. Now this should be perfect. And just do this with every phrase that's being sung. Just line them up very quickly, and they group together to line them up with each phrase or note. And it's really useful for the S sounds to make sure these line up perfectly. Because like I said, we're really gonna hear that difference. And if we need to delete any of these points, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, to clear them, or turn off grouping, Alt Shift G on the PC, or Option Shift G on the Mac, turns off the group, and we can move this one separately, turn grouping back on, and they behave as a group again, like this. Let's move this one over to here, line this up with this one, and line these up over here, do the same with the ending, like that, and that, and the beginning of this note, and line them up perfectly, go to the end over here, line them up, and they're perfect again. And just do this for each phrase. And just like that, it should be perfect. Let's hear the results. Come on, let's go! We're not fast, you're just too slow. Let's get this show on the road, let's go. It sounds perfect. And like I said, it does take a bit of time, but as you do this more often, it'll go quicker each time. And the nice thing about this is we could always tweak it afterwards. We can just zoom in, if there's a certain section that doesn't sound right, just grab it and just line it up again until you're happy with the results. So that's pretty much it. That's how to align vocal tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.